So uh, my question was, with how competitive racing has gotten recently, do you think that a rider has to start really young to really go anywhere with racing, you know, GoPro? Like, I know Jeremy McGrath started when he was 15, but now when you look at riders today, like Hayden Deegan and Jet Lawrence, it seems like you already have to have so much done, even at just a very young age. And, you know, as a new rider who's starting pretty old, I just, it doesn't seem like there's much hope unless you start really young. So I was just wondering what you guys thought. Thank you. Dude, is he stranded in a desert? What do you mean? Did you hear that, yeah, like, I mean, falcon in the background? There was something in the background. Careful, man. He's probably all right. Sounded like he was about to get swooped in by a falcon. <laughs> uh, great question. Hurricane something something. Excellent question. And I, I have conflicting thoughts on this. If you were to ask me which one is probably the better route to go, yeah, absolutely. You learn so much and you can download so much information before the time that you're 10 years old that you would have a millennium in, like, of a head start on somebody like McGrath that started when they were 15 years old. But that's not to say you can't catch up eventually. It just, you'd have to be on a completely different trajectory as far as if you, you know, if you start at two years old, like I did, you could be ready to turn pro by the time you're 16. Like I did. If you start at age 14 or 15, yet you might not be able to turn pro until you're 25 years old. That's fine. I think nowadays, if you do it the right way and you're not getting injured, you're not getting burnt out. I, I don't see a reason why you couldn't race very competitively professionally until you're in your late thirties, right? I'm 30 now. I have a five-year plan. I'm going to race until I'm 35. I imagine when I turn 35, I could probably easily keep going with it. And maybe I will. And you see guys like Brayton. How old is he? Not sure. He's definitely getting up there. A guy like Reed. How old is he? Not too sure. Can still go really fast. Uh, could still easily race competitively at the professional level. And that's you know, getting deeper into your 30s. So I wouldn't let that discourage you by any means. I wouldn't even look at it as a disadvantage because you can't compare timelines. And that's one of the mistakes I've made most of my life with racing, with success in a, in a career and trying to make money. It was like I was chasing the timeline of trying to stay on track with the, either the people that were around me in racing. So I grew up in the Justin Barsha, Eli Tomac, Jason Anderson era. I can name a million other guys, but they were all my age or a year older. So I was basing all of my successes on when they would see success. It was different for everybody. So it's an unfair way to do it. I was also simultaneously comparing myself to people that were my age in school. So when I got homeschooled after ninth grade, after ninth grade because I was turning pro, I was like keeping an eye on everybody in my grade. What are they up to? Are they okay? Well, they're sophomores now. So I got a little bit of time. They're juniors now. Uh Oh, I'm running out of time. Okay. They're seniors. Oh boy. I better better be making it this year. I better be making a lot of money because guess what? Now they're going to college and I'm falling behind at this point. Oh boy, they graduated college. Now what? Um, that's a dangerous rabbit hole to go down in trying to compare your timeline to others. So don't do that. It's easy. It's an easy trap to fall into. Also, you find that a lot of people around you will try to accidentally kind of send you down that path as well, whether it be parents or relatives or friends. There's a lot of like cultural pressure that will make you feel you have to accomplish certain, certain things by certain ages. Uh, but there's a lot to be said for the amount that you could subconsciously download by the time you're eight or 10 years old and starting young. If you're gonna start a little older, you just have to do it in a really, really smart way and learn the right things at the right time. But yeah, I would say nothing's impossible. Why not? Why not? I said I was gonna win a Supercross championship by 2028. I made that goal this year. It's a little late in a rider's career to just say you're going to win a Supercross championship, right? Well, but some would argue. <laughs> yeah. But if I decide I'm going to do it and stick to it, it probably will happen or I'll get very close to it, right? It it's very well could change my mind and head a completely different direction. But you just have to, you know, create that crazy high goal, have that as something to steer towards. And then in the meantime, just... Focus on all of the right things and just try to learn as much as you can. 
But asking a question like that, I think is an appropriate, good question. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think you never know what tomorrow holds, right? However, um, you don't want to be the guy who doesn't chase their goals because you think you can't. Yeah, just making up like a weird alibi and or excuse. Uh, it was too late. No, you you have like, well, everybody can make a choice. Everybody has the power to make decisions. Like it's all about decisions. You can choose like every every single day even. You can choose the attitude you're going to have. You know what I mean? Like if you have a bummer day, everything's going wrong in life, whatever, you can wake up and choose to be positive. That's a choice you make. And same thing with this stuff is it's like, I, I, I hate when I see people that have so much potential, but the only thing holding them back is their ability to, to decide they're going to do it. Yeah. Some weird little excuse that they have in their head is their reality. And it's not even true. Right. Yeah. It's, so, sad. Uh, it's sad. And there's uh, people on every different, everybody's on different trajectories. If you look at like a Justin Cooper, I'm pretty sure he went to public school all the way through the end of high school. That's pretty unusual. Deegan was learning how to ride supercross when he was like age four. That's pretty unusual, right? Everybody, and there's advantages and there's disadvantages to each of those things. Like that you would say, well, what, what the heck is the disadvantage to Deegan learning that young? Well, the disadvantage is it's pretty easy for you to probably burn out at a young age if you're training that hard from such a young age. The benefit of a Justin Cooper going through public high school all the way to the end is that you you have a different perspective on it and it can be a more positive perspective that you don't, you don't burn out and you can have motivation, but it's all whatever your perspective is. So good question. Yeah. Good question. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, go download them, Spotify, Apple podcasts. And I think that's it. Go download them there. Give them a listen. If you want to watch full episodes, which I tell you what, it's even better to do that. Go to club.themotoacademy.com because Moto Academy subscribers inside of the app have exclusive access to watch the entire episodes. And not only that, the subscribers actually can send in their questions to be answered in the podcast as well. club.themotoacademy.com. Go subscribe.